some cases you might want to control the actual actions, these buttons that a user can uh, take or that the uh, signing can be done directly from uh, the, uh, the sign request in Salesforce. Out of the box, all buttons will be shown, but now you can control that via custom permissions. So, for instance, I create a permission set that's uh, for our sales rep. You can add custom permissions on a permission set on a profile. In this case, I've selected to create a permission set for the sales rep. So in this permission set, which is assigned to uh, me at this moment, uh, we'll, we will set some custom permissions. First of all, you have to set the custom permission to indicate that you want to control the uh, buttons and all the actions on the screen via custom permissions. So this one, manage sign request actions, will actually indicate that you want to manage the sign request actions via custom permissions. So if I assign this one, to this permission set and I would refresh this page all buttons and the signing field are now gone because none of the permissions are added to my uh, profile or to my permission set so let's play around with this let's say that I want to be able to reassign to notify to uh, re uh, to reassign and that's it so these are the two that actions that I would like to allow for this user. So if I now refresh the page, you would see the buttons for reassign and notify are actually there. So, and this can be done with all of the uh, permissions and you can now really pick and choose depending on the profile or that your, your user has, which actions can be, uh, can be done. Let's say that he wants to allow the revoke Then if I refresh the page, the revoke is now also enabled on this page, as you can see.